Uh, first of all, thank you very much for the picture. and enjoyed it, really. Uh, it's great. And um, I f my first question is, um, what was um, the main idea for you to make uh, the film using just one shot? And the main idea was uh, that it was a very, very uh, cheap one, cheap way to produce a film. But but that was not the only uh, the only answer for that question. But uh, uh, also the story. I think uh, the story about this uh, young girl arriving at the, her mother's house and arguing about how they have lived together and so on is is very nice. Uh, the form is very nice that you follow her all the time and you go deeper and deeper into uh, her mind and uh, you don't cut away and uh, see, see any other things. Uh, was there any, mm, uh, any absolutely new for you as a director of things in this film that you never did before? Yeah, it was very new that you have to uh, focus such a long time uh, on, on one person and uh, you have to check everything. It's, it's a mise-en-scene, a <laughs> very, very long mise-en-scene you have to uh, have in your head and figure it out and so on. It was very new for me. The, the last 10 years we have uh, made film that we have uh, shoot a lot of material and then we have sitting in the cutting room and edit together and so on and take the highlights from the from the actors and uh, and and that's the new uh, way of, of telling a story but i i thought it was very nice to get back to the what's called handcraft <laughs> and uh, show the actors and they have to go through the story and uh, and carry the story to get uh, to the end yeah i feel that your, your film are really ha handmade it uh, mm, but uh, what what was th what was the hardest for you uh, technical problems or acting uh, during this shot I think it was quite easy in one way or another, b but uh, it was hard working. The, uh, the three actors uh, that are in the pictures, they are very, very uh, good actors and very well-known actors in, in Denmark. And they were so high professional. So th they could manage. I don't think I could do this film with, with anybody. Um, I, th I think uh, the Danish film, uh, no, film school, acting school, is one of the best now in Europe, like an, I don't know, like an English film school. Uh, can you say why? Why are Danish actors so, so cool? Danish actors? Yeah. We are all, all here wonder of them. Yeah. Well Re really impressed. But I think they are interested in moving. Of, uh, I don't know why. I, I, I just think they are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> but uh, uh, I yeah. mean, do you have any uh, some maybe film school where they uh, learning acting or some thought experiments or something something like, th like yeah. that? How? But I have uh, what's called one of these. I preparedavala. I've educated. Yeah, uh, oh. I, I have educated the, the actors for the last five years in Denmark. <laughs> so therefore, they are well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know it because of yeah. you. Thank but you. Yeah. And um, do you think that your film um, is um, mm, a continuous uh, uh, dogma experiment? In one way or another, in the cheap. Uh, way uh, of producing it, but uh, I, I don't think that uh, in the storytelling, I think it's a, it's a, a very new way to, uh, to uh, uh, look at the story, that you, you take this one and a half hour of everybody's life, cut it out, and, s and show it out and see, tell, well, look at this, this is real life for one and a half hour. And uh, what do you think it, it looks like? And and I think it's a very new wave way to uh, tell story to to do it this way. Otherwise, you have all those uh, uh, very long 
uh, storytellings. Uh, but here, I just look at the moment, one and a half hour, and see, look, this life. Uh, another interesting thing, fil uh, thing in your film is that uh, the story doesn't, uh, I, I see this one, just one shot, but the story doesn't look like a, a story of uh, one and a uh, one and a half hour. Yeah, yeah. because of uh, dramatic structure, you know, you've got a very uh, mm, uh, a strong script. Yeah. And uh, I started as a poet, poetry. It started up uh, out as poetry, and then I, I wrote this film script, and then I get back to the poetry. So in Denmark, you have uh, I have a collection of poetry. It's called One Shot, and then the film. So. It's a book and a film. Um, mm. Maybe it's therefore you said it's a very s strong structure because I have worked, you know, very yeah, <laughs> close <yeah. laughs> to the to the dialogue. I th I think it's very funny to to write uh, to write dialogue. Uh. And and also that that you have this one and a half hour. Here's what's going on, but they tell you they tell uh, they tell each each other about things happened ten years ago, twenty years ago, and in this way you get those uh, a big world. You you get into the the uh, main characters' big world or life, and therefore you get a much much bigger story. Uh, so uh, you show us, uh, you showed us that uh, we just two people in uh, cinematography, just a man with a camera and man <laughs> uh, in f behind. With, with, that, with the sound, yeah. No, no, no. no? Just uh, an actor and a man with a camera. No one, uh, no, no, no one else need needn't. No. Okay. <laughs> yes. That's right. <laughs> uh, was it? Uh, for you an experimental film or a just a f your film? I think uh, the story is the most important for me to tell. I always tell stories and and this way I find a way to tell the story very cheap, very easily, but also with a, a, a very deep feeling together with the actors and together with the crew that we really worked together and uh, we give a piece of ourselves <laughs> into this film because otherwise it couldn't uh, happen because it was so hard working we, we were doing. Uh, was any actor's improvisation this during no, the show? No, you can't do improvisation in, in, in this kind of film because you, uh, otherwise the time is, is uh, ruined. You ruin the timing if, <laughs> if some somebody is uh, Start improvising, and then uh, it gets, you know, very slow, and so on. You you must know everything in front, up front, to what to do. But uh, did actors try it? <laughs> did they try? No, only once. If they go, if 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 there were a mistake or a, what's called, a, yeah, if, if something wrong happens, and they have to uh, to to make it up. It was once they improvised, but they did it in a very, very good way. So, so nobody <laughs> knew that it is improvising. Um, I don't know how, how to say. How many takes did it take? We 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 take uh, it's four takes, and we used number two. And uh, the other, <laughs> the others. The, the, there's uh, where, where, a, a difference between ten minutes from the first and the f uh, the, the shortest and the longest. And it's because of the timing and the way they, they so yeah. Uh, and where are they now? <laughs> they, I've got it at home in my bank box <laughs> because it's funny uh, that you have four different films. And also uh, th this one we choose, the, the young girl was I in, in the, the picture mm -hmm. much of the time. But I've, I've got also other where the mother is more in the pictures and so on. So I can turn the free stories <laughs> in, in this, with the same materials. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much.